Welcome back to another video here on Rostec Automotive. Today we're going to be working on a 2016 BMW 328i xDrive. Um, customer requires us to update all of the modules in the car, so this car is getting a full software update. Um, there is one module that will not be updated because it is in programming abort, and that is the ATM, although I know that otherwise known as the telematics control unit uh, that needs to be replaced which will be done in a separate video so right here we're running ESIS and we have read out the um, the I steps we have read out the vehicle profile and the vehicle order and save that now we're gonna head over to tell calculating in comfort mode and we will be reading out the SVT actual and then we're going to calculate the SVT target. So we're going to give that a moment. We're going to speed this up right here. All right. And that calculated much faster through the magic of video editing but actually in real time that does take a while so here you can see all the modules in the car that need to be updated um, you can see there the ATM with a little exclamation sign that's because it's in programming abort and we are going to calculate or tell now from here we can head back to expert mode Head to tile processing and we're going to load all of the files that we just saved so the tile that we just created the svt target that we just calculated and our vehicle order which is our fa we're gonna we can read it out from the vsim or we can load that back we will get a screen like this now you can go ahead and just do the software update as is right now um in our case we would remove the ATM so that that does not give us our you know the regular errors and so forth but just do all the modules one flash at one point however in my case there were some particular modules that I wanted to attack so as it is right here what we're going to be doing is selecting the ASCM or the active the ACSM I should say active crash safety module and that is also known as the multi strain system and we're going to do that as a single flash so that you get the idea of what is what. So again, we're going to speed this up so that it goes through very quickly. Not have you hang around and have to, you know, wait for the long period of time. Um, finished with warnings is not bad. Uh, you ideally want to see a green bar. A yellow one is not a problem either. Uh, what that means is that there are some errors that are generated because of uh the programming so things need to be reinitialized such as the airbag needing to be relocked uh, which will be done in the reinitialization using ista um, so from here it's just doing the same thing for all the other modules so i'm going to put this on a time lapse so that it can go ahead where that's concerned and get all of that done So everything has now been updated with the exception of the ATM. The DME was the last module that we actually did. Um, but as you see, everything is in black, which means that all has been updated except for the telematics um, control unit. So from here, we're going to be changing the I steps. All right. And this car has never been updated before. So the I step shipment and the I step last is going to be the exact same. If this car was updated before, then the last would be different from the current. Um, so you'd have three different dates there basically. 
uh, seeing that this is the first update that this car has gotten since 2015, then it is going to be a case where we're just changing the current shipment for the iStep and we're going to write that back to the car and we are pretty much finished. The only thing that is left for us to actually get done is to now head into ISTA, read out all our fault codes, make sure that all the modules are responding and do the reinitialization process of all of these modules. Uh, which includes like you know relocking the airbags um, unit, relieving the starter lock, reinitializing the flex ray, and so on and so forth. So I will put that on a time lapse also, so that you can pretty much see what it is that goes on. But this process is very simple. It does take about two hours though. Alright, and all of that is put back together. So, hope that it was a very informative video. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope you like, subscribe, and share. I am out. <laughs>